Hey everybody, welcome to the film show with Julia Kamanga and today we're going to do another music video greatness. I'm super excited because I love music videos and I love talking about them. And today we're going to look at someone who is so amazing to me. I love her so much because her personality is life. Let's get into it. We're going to look at music video greatness with Rihanna. I don't know if you could take it. No, you want to see me naked, naked, naked. I want to be a baby, baby, baby. Spinning in his wedges like he came from Maytag. Rihanna is fantastic. Like, I love who she has become. After Good Girl Gone Bad, actually, let me rather say, after Rated R, she was really, like, coming out of her shell. And every time you see a new album and every time you see her do something new in her life and as she grows up, you know, in age and everything, she starts to be more and more of herself. And that's what I enjoy the most about Rihanna. Now, the reason I want to do a music video greatness on Rihanna is that people underappreciate the greatness that she is. Like, as much, like, everyone likes to find a way to fault her in some way. And I kind of hate it because, I mean, I love Rihanna. So today I'm going to look at a few categories, try to keep it short and simple and sweet and everything nice. And I'm going to, like, see if you guys agree with me and if you don't, well, it's your life. First thing I'd like to look at is storyline. Now, storyline is hella important because you need to have a reason for your music video to be there. Now, your storyline doesn't have to be a hectic thing. It doesn't have to be, like, overly complicated for no reason. That doesn't mean anything. It's just the reason you're making a music video for the song is because you love it. And you have a visual idea of how you want it to be represented. So now, Rihanna has this beautiful thing where she takes music and makes it a fun storyline. But my favorite videos that focus on storyline are We Found Love and Bitch Better Have My Money. Now you're probably wondering, what? Of course, guys, like, do you pay attention to how great these music videos are? The Bitch Better Have My Money was an entire story about Rihanna getting her money from, I'm gonna call him Hannibal Lecter because I love him as their character. <laughs> um, getting his money from this man who's the accountant, let's just call him. And she kidnaps his wife or his girlfriend or whoever that chick is technically supposed to be. And this chick has gigantic fake boobs, obviously, and is this pretty Barbie-like chick. And, you know, she kind of uses this idea of kidnapping her and holding her hostage and doing all these weird things in between to try and get her money. Well, in actual fact, this guy doesn't care about his girlfriend. So Rihanna goes and takes matters into her own hands. And so now, obviously, a lot of parents had problems with this video. Okay, so it says 18, but cool. Anyway, so um, I love this music video because it's really fun and you kind of want to watch it all the time. We Found Love is my ultimate favorite, especially because I watched the behind the scenes and you know, it's pretty much a story about a man and a woman who fall in love with each other and are addicted to each other's love as well as drugs and alcohol and the fun that comes with it. But like anything good, it can sometimes have really bad consequences. And too much of a good thing is a bad thing in the end, really. So what I'm trying to say is that drugs and fun and love don't always last the same if you don't really work on it. Not saying you must work on drugs, but like love. But with drugs, it's not fun all the time. It actually ends up ruining your life and you know, all that stuff they tell you in LO. She took a story, she took an experience from her own self, even though she probably might not admit it. I don't know if she did say it was from her own experiences. And she made it something beautiful. That music video is fantastic. It was well thought out. It was beautifully edited. It was just beautiful. Fun and colorful. Now, I love a music video that is super fun and super colorful in any way whatsoever. And Rihanna's really good at doing this. And it's probably because she's from Barbados and they are colorful, fun people in general. So it's really cool to see that she translates that into her music videos. I'm so happy I waited until Wild Thoughts came out so I could put it in this category so her fun and colorful songs you've got stuff like rude boy you've got snm you've got what's my name you've got work both versions really in my opinion and you've got wild thoughts <laughs> and my favorite two out of them are wild thoughts and work the reason i love work so much is because like you know it's super sexy it's super fun it's the type of place you want to go to and like dance reggae with your like whoever you know <laughs> but like it's also a place where it looks like people can be themselves and like free and just let go of their barriers you know kind of just let loose for once and nobody cares about what you're doing but everyone is in their own space but together at the same time i think that is the best way i can describe what a reggae club is like in my mind um, and she translates that in work i had fun watching it it was super sexy and super like explicit now work version part two whatever you want to call it um was also kind of really fun because i love the blue and the pink that they used that is my favorite thing that is one thing i really wish to do one day in my films in any way whatsoever like it was really fun to see her like take that like sexiness of the song and like you know be like a rihanna drake moment and it's super beautiful and colorful but also you know you kind of just want to be rihanna and drake in that entire video at the same time wild thoughts i love it because 
Okay, everybody was all about like Rihanna's weight gain, blah blah blah. She's pregnant. She's not pregnant. She just looks so good. Okay, can we not deny that her weight gain looks fantastic? And I know like bringing it up is like a thing, but um, it's only because it was part of Twitter. And you know me. Anyway, but it was really cool to see how good she looks. Damn girl, she was like flourishing there. Like, oh, she just looks so free and happy. I just, I wish I could be Rihanna happy. You know, there's happy and then there's Rihanna happy. It was really fun to see. Actually, it was so cool to even just see DJ Khaled dancing there and you see his little baby, so cute. Um, it was really, you know, like it was just a really fun environment to be in. Like, you just want to like dance through the whole time, you know, you're just like in the mood the whole time. So, um, those are two of my favorite videos. And of course, you've got the serious matter. Now, this is important as an artist that you have a balance between the type of music you make. Yeah, there are some artists who generally just focus on the serious matter. So, in the rhythm and blues, they're mostly in the blues section, should I say. With Rihanna, she does have her serious song versus her fun songs and with her serious songs the music videos that i do oh my god i just love these sorry oh okay so i had a moment <laughs> i love these music videos so much you've got stuff like what now you've got stay you've got we found love which is also a very serious matter but i already mentioned it so you know you've got american oxygen you've got diamonds so hard to pick in this category damn because i love all those songs but number one is american oxygen and number two would be what now now I picked these ones because the editing is beautiful. But okay, let me let me break it down. So American Oxygen is so beautiful because not only is it about America, but you can relate to it if you live in any um country that practices democracy. Because it doesn't exist. What she's pretty much trying to say is that she's living this American dream, but technically all this terrible stuff is happening and she looks through the history to show that all these terrible things are happening. It's beautiful because me in South Africa I can be like, even me, I feel this man like we got out of apartheid, we thought it was going to be a great time, we thought we were going to be living a dream of some sort. And when 2017 and was suffering, it's hard. This song relates still now to like Trump's er era. So American Oxygen will always be my number one re because of that reason. It really speaks about that. And um, a lot of people just listened to it once and moved on. But you need to really listen to the song and also look at the music video. It was well thought out. Now, a lot of people were excited because this is one of the first times she showed her nipples on TV. Y'all people need to focus though. That should look good though. <laughs> okay, and then you've got What Now. What Now is fantastic because that editing is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Guys, sorry, the cinematographer slash editor in me is just dying. When I look at that video, it inspires me so much. It inspires so many things I want to do. I'm going to do a Good Night Gotham video. Well, inspired by this video and Good Night Gotham. See, just stay tuned for that. But um, I'm super excited whenever I watch this video. It's so beautiful. It's so deep and beautiful. Like, I know I said beautiful so many times, but you don't understand. It is gorgeous. Please, like, the transitions that they use, the duplication of Rihanna. Just her outfit is so simple. The way she sings is so deep. Like, she really is screaming. You can feel her emotion through the entire song. And that's what I enjoy, that you can really feel what Rihanna's feeling. And it was done so cleverly. It was... I think it was, like, cheap to make, easy to make, but it was so simply beautiful. Yeah, pay attention to that, especially if you want to be a filmmaker. Look at this music video and understand how little things can make something so much greater. It's one of the most beautiful videos Rihanna has, in my opinion. Sexuality. Rihanna's sexuality has been flourishing so much lately. Every time there's a new video, you see her enjoy herself more and more. And I always wish I had that Rihanna freedom. You see, there's Rihanna happiness and there's Rihanna freedom, guys. I want it all. You've got work, you've got SNM, you've got Kiss It Better, you've got my money, you've got American Oxygen. You even have Stay. Stay is pretty, like, even, like, Wild Thoughts. I'm bringing Wild Thoughts back real quick. So my favorites would have to be Wild Thoughts and Kiss It Better. Let's start with Wild Thoughts since it's the newest one. So as I already said, it was really fun and it was really freeing you just want to be in that space that rihanna's in and the nice thing is that with wild thoughts she's just like enjoying herself and she's got everything out but it's not really obvious in my opinion she looks so good and she's been sexy like dancing on the wall and everything like girl <laughs> and then you've got kiss it better that video is beautiful and sexy again it's simple and cheap to bake put rihanna in a black background and play around with her body and you're done she had a blazer on that blazer looks so good on her her hair was so nice her makeup was so good. She looked flawless and everything. She embraces her sexuality really well. She is just she shows who she is. And that's one thing I think I like the most about Rihanna is that she promotes this idea that you can be whoever you want. Whether you want to be a sexual being, like openly, or whether you want to be, you know, more timid in some way, whether you you know, just do you. She don't care. So Rihanna's doing really well. Keep watching her videos, guys. She's fantastic. I hope you subscribe to her Vivo. She's not paying me for this, guys, but like I'm like a diehard fan of rihanna and i will forever promote her okay guys all you rihanna haters out there i hope you watch this and you're like 
You know what? I'm so stupid for hating Rihanna. How dare you hate this perfect <laughs> Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Please subscribe, like, comment below. I'm probably going to be doing one on Katy Perry soon. Super excited about that. Um, and one on Chris Brown. And yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying for now. I'm not promising anything. <laughs> but guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure you stay tuned for the rest of my music video greatness. Check out my previous videos. Check out my movie reviews, series reviews. They're all there waiting for you to check out. Enjoy yourselves. Otherwise, guys, stay strong, be beautiful. Bye.